Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am medical student and in today's video lecture, we are going to complete our last lecture of development of chick. In the last lecture, we have covered about the formation of the epiblast and hypoblast, how the primitive streak is formed and how it is functionally equivalent to the dorsal lip of the blastopore of frog. We have also discussed about the archenteron formation. I am now again making this epiblast and hypoblast to make the clear concept of about our further discussion of today. So it is epiblast and this is hypoblast. So now what we are going to do, we are now making the primitive streak. What? Primitive streak. And in the last lecture, I have told you that how the primitive streak is equivalent to the dorsal lip of the blastopore of frog. Because in frog, uh, cell move inside by the formation of the blastopore and in the chick, the cell move inside by the primitive streak. What I am making now are the cells of the epiblast which will move inward to the primitive streak. With the help of arrow, I am showing that how it is moving inside from all the directions. From the left, from the right, from the above, from the up it is goes to the primitive node and from the like downward it is going to the primitive streak which is the streak like area. The upper rounded portion it is called as the primitive node which is also called as the Hansen's node and the lower streak like straight part is called as the primitive streak. Now all the cells from the epiblast are moved downwards and we got three germ layers. The point to be noted here is that that only the cells from the epiblast are moved from the primitive streak. Only epiblast. And in the result, what we got? We got three germ layers. The germ layers are ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. First, we will label it endoderm. The lowest one or the innermost layer is the endoderm. Then we label it mesoderm. The middle one layer which is called as the mesoderm and the uppermost layer it's called as endo oh, sorry ectoderm. Now let's come to our next topic which is organogenesis. Organogenesis means now the three germ layers are formed and what we have to do now formation of the organs. We first study about the neurulation. What is mean by neurulation? Formation of the notochord or neurula, the blastula, uh, the blastula or the gastrula at this stage is called as Here neurula. I have made the cross section of the three germ layers showing that the endoderm is the innermost one and the ectoderm is the outermost one. And the middle layer, which I have shown with the dots, is called as the mesoderm. Now, uh, from the primitive node, it is the rounded part we have saw above. And what happened from this rounded part? Lot of cells collectively come downwards, and this uh, collection of the cell or this mass of the cell will form the notochord. What will it form? Notochord. Now, Magnifying the upper portion of the embryo to see how the further neurulation occur. Just making the ectoderm and just below this ectoderm the notochord. The cells just above the notochord which are present in the ectoderm start dividing more rapidly the number and the mass of the cell just above the ectoderm is increasing more and more and more cells are present in the one place that it will push the membrane downwards and the neural fold will be formed 
this is called as the neural fold and below this neural fold is the notochord when more and more cells are dividing it start forming a ring like structure having more and more cells and the two ends start coming closer to each other now what happen in the next step the two sides become fused to each other and what will it form neural tube the rounded portion the rounded tube like substance called as a neural tube and below the neural tube is the notochord now what we have to know this important point for the mcqs is that all this process of neurulation like including the formation of the neural tube notochord and all this it will take 24 hours after incubation 24 hours after incubation now let's make the neurula having the notochord and the neural tube along with the ectoderm endoderm and the mesoderm so the outermost is the ectoderm and then we have a uh, in a portion endoderm and below the ectoderm we have a neural tube and uh, below the neural tube we have the notochord and the dotted area is the mesoderm here i want to make one thing clear that in book it is written that in check it is form a kinderon formation without invagination so what is it mean in the last lecture i have told you that in frog invagination is formed and then it will form the archenteron and archenteron will form the future gut but what happened in the chick is that there is no invagination of the layer for the movement of the cells downward cell move downward without any invagination and the gut will also be formed so we can say here that in chick archenteron formation is without the invagination as in the frog invagination of the membrane took place for the sake of convenience we will just label it as a neural tube and the rounded mass of the portion below the neural tube is the notochord again reminding you that this embryo stage is called as the neurula now our next topic is differentiation of the mesoderm that how the mesoderm is differentiated into uh, muscles skeleton and how the bones are formed how the cartilage is formed from which part of the mesoderm axial skeleton is formed all this we learn under the category of the differentiation of mesoderm mesoderm is differentiated into three layers the uppermost epilear epimere and the second is the center one mesomere and the third one is the lowest one or the lower one hypomere from the epimeres we have somite formation and from the mesomere we have the kidney tubules formation and what will form from the hypomere it will form the lateral plate and the lateral plate for with further uh, formation or the with further fusion form the coelom now let us see how the somites are differentiated into uh, further formation of the bones and the skeletons and the muscles so the somites are differentiated into three layers the outer one the inner one and the center one from the outer portion dermis will be formed from the inner portion axial skeleton is formed what is the axial skeleton in axial skeleton we have sternum ribs etc and then from the center portion muscles will be formed as from the outer portion dermis is formed so it is called as dermaton what dermaton and from the inner portion axial skeleton is formed so it is called as 
skeleton and from the center portion muscle is formed so it is called as myotone now let us form the diagram showing the differentiation of the mesoderm so first we have made the ectoderm and then we made the endoderm and then we made the neural tube uh, just below the ectoderm and then the we have uh, what is notochord then we made uh, first upper portion epimere and then in the circle we made the mesomere and then we have made the hypomere let's label it upper portion epimere middle portion mesomere and the lowest portion is the hypomere now both of these hypomere a lower portion fused to form the lateral plate what it will form lateral plate so let's make a diagram showing the lateral plate so it will be crystal clear now see how the lateral plate is formed so first we have made the epimere on both the sides then we have the mesomere and then the lateral uh, plate is formed by the fusion of the hypomere of both the sides the upper portion of the lateral plate is called as the somatic layer and the lower portion is called as the splanchnic layer in between the somatic and the splanchnic layer siloam will be formed now let us see how the somatic pleura and the splanchnic pleura are formed so first i have made here the endoderm then the somatic layer and then the splanchnic layer and then I have made the ectoderm. Let us now label the ectoderm and the endoderm. The lower portion of the endoderm and the somatic layer will fuse and what it will form? Somatopleur layer. What it will form? Somatopleur and then the ectoderm and the Splanchnic layer fused to form splanchnic pleur. So we have seen the somatic pleur and the splanchnic pleur uh, are formed. And that's all for the development of check. So I hope you will get understand it. And if you have any queries regarding any topic, you are free to ask in the comment section or you can uh, DM us on the Instagram study with doctors so stay safe stay at home stay pos positive assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh